This is Mr. Joe from Virtubotics, and today we're going to be going over the Virtubotics 6 pin pot pad. It's a new board designed to work with our 6 pin analog architecture, and it is meant to work primarily for uh, GUI manipulation and for user interaction. This is how it comes in the package so that you can choose what kind of header you want to put on if you don't want the males that come standard. Uh, it is a six pin header as is implied by the name. The pins are voltage, ground, analog zero, analog one, and analog two and the general purpose I.O. are not used. So the only pins that are used are the first four on this board. It has a 10K potentiometer already wired up for you and a push button on analog zero. So the, uh, the 10K potentiometer puts out voltage to analog one. So let's go ahead and show how this can be used with the uh, Versalino LCD and keypad board. We have the Versalino LCD and keypad board. Let's zoom out a little bit here. Here is a pot pad that I already soldered together. You'll notice that the pins line up as such, so there's not quite enough room on this one for you to use it directly on there, but you can use these female to female jumpers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wire up my voltage right here, there you go. My ground is my brown one in this case. I'm going to wire up my black one to A0, which is our push button, and then we've got a1, which is our potentiometer. And so now, as you can see on the board, we have the potentiometer reading is hanging around 230, right? Now I'm going to go all the way to zero. Then we go all the way up to 1023. And so you essentially have that full range to work with on any application that you're using it with. And that is your 1024 resolution on your analog port and so you can use this for navigating through menus or through uh, for changing actual settings within a menu and then here's the push button function you see it says button is not pressed there you go gotta push it a little harder button is pressed button is not pressed okay and so basically uh, for using the push button encode I recommend Basically, you set analog one on the Versalina bus, A0 on this board here. Set that to an input and then designate in your code that you want that to be pulled high by doing a digital write high after you've set it as an input. And that'll keep it from being a floating input because you can't really guarantee what state it will show up as unless someone's pushing the button. And so we want to turn the pull up on. For the uh, potentiometer, it's a little simpler. You just do an analog read on it, and that'll get you that number that's being displayed up on the screen. And so by using these two in combination, I hope it's able to help you solve some problems with your uh, user interfaces. And I look forward to seeing all your applications with this. Feel free to do a, a video response if you happen to make anything with this device. And I look forward to hearing any questions. And this is Mr. Joe with Virtubotics with the Virtubotics 6-pin pot pad. And I'll see you all next time.